Hey, I'm Rob Romarino here with Century Equipment. And I'm Angelo D'Ambrosia. And today we're going to be talking about some product training. So here at Century, anytime we sell you a machine, uh, we really want to help you understand how to use it to your benefit. And how to use it to your benefit is making products. These machines as they exist now are just big pieces of stainless steel. But what they do is they make exciting, profitable, recipe-driven, visual products. So you might have watched our video, Art of the Cone. You might have watched our videos about our batch freezer, making ice cream, gelato, Italian ice. We, today we want to show you some soft serve products, right? So one of the most exciting soft serve products and staples of the industry is the ice cream cone. Uh, you can view our video, Art of the Cone, to see some of the particulars about the Art of the Cone. But today we want to show you how to take a cone and different sizes and how to roll in some sprinkles. Just to give you some idea, when you're training your staff and we work with you and we leave, you can refer back to these videos so you can use it for training in the present and the future. So Anzo's going to make a couple cones. So anytime you hear me talk about cones, you'll hear me say two and a half, three and a half, four and a half. And those revolutions equate to the sizes of the ice cream. So if we have a kid's cone, it may be two and a half revolutions. So when we look at it, we have one, two, three, and that little top, that top off is a half, okay? So to me, this is about six ounces of ice cream, and this is going to be your medium or regular size. So if I have a small, medium, large, or a kid's regular large, this is gonna be my regular, right? Now, if I wanna roll this in, I call them jimmies, you can call them sprinkles, whatever you're comfortable with. I like to use a nice square um, container that is pretty big, so it'll hold some runoff for us. And anytime you're getting ice cream out of an electrofreeze machine, you're gonna see how it holds the product. And the reason it's able to hold that is because of the pressurized equipment infusing the right amount of air into the ice cream. And also, the design and development of this cone has suction cups built in here. So it's gonna hold the ice cream. What that means is you can dip it in sprinkles or jimmies, you can dip it in cone dip. Um, your customer's gonna have a nice eating experience where the ice cream's not melting all over because we're infusing the right amount of air and we've made the cone right. Okay, so when I want to put this in sprinkles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in and I'm going to roll it. So we get good sprinkle jimmy coverage on our product. And now, what you want to be careful of is I don't want to just lift the cone up because eventually gravity will take over. I want to use a spoon, grab some sprinkles or jimmies underneath so we don't have a spoon mark in our ice cream, and I want to lift it up. Okay, and when I do that, I have a nice, beautiful, uh, vanilla cone with rainbow sprinkles.